It's now mid-August and we've experienced early season pests such as thrips and foliage feeding worms. Today I want to talk to you about uh, southern corn rootworms and burrowing bugs which are pod feeding pests. Another concern that you will have in the middle of the season will end up being the pod uh, rotting organisms such as pythium and rhizoctonia. Scouting for pod feeding pests consists of pulling up approximately three row feet of peanuts in about eight locations per 120 acre circle and make sure those are random locations, not particularly uh, weedy or anything else, but typical of your, your field overall. Once you've pulled those, well, let's pull those, pot, let's pull some up. Once you pull those plants up, slap them on the ground a couple times to shake loose all the soil from the roots and pods in order to knock off and drop back in the uh, burrowing bugs or southern corn rootworms that may have been in the plants themselves. Then you want to start sifting through that top three layers of soil, watching for those burrowing bugs or corn rootworm larvae. Once you've gone through the soil in your sample area, again about three row feet, then go back to your plants, invert those, and examine your pods for signs of larval feeding and damage. The corn rootworm damage will be feeding that removes parts of the hull or tunneling in the pods versus the burrowing bug will make small dimples or pits in the pods. Southern corn rootworm is a colorful green beetle that we see that will come out and deposit eggs, but it's the larvae that we're concerned with and the larvae cause this kind of damage that we see on peanuts which can either be a quality factor or can be a yield limiting factor depending on what type of peanut that you have. Damage that you can see from southern corn rootworms on the pods can be exemplified by the holes in the pods and depending on the stage of the actual pod development it'll have different kinds of damage such as this smaller pod up here. As these pods become more mature, sometimes secondary infection will move in, sometimes they will rot off, or there's even a possibility if they ride the screen during harvest, there could be some problems with segregation too, that is peanuts that aren't quite as uh, good for uh, farmer stock. Burrowing bug damage is, uh, can be exemplified by causing a pit. Now this pit is called by, caused by their feeding apparatus, which is a, like a soda straw that's uh, on their mouth part and called the stylet. And what it causes is a little bump right here. And this bump really has two effects. Number one, it ends up tasting like a stink bug, which is something that's not too good in a Snickers bar. And also it'll predispose once these peanuts are in storage to segregation three or alpha toxins. Another item to be looking for while examining pods for uh, pod feeder insect damage is disease symptoms such as these disease pods here caused by pythium or rhizoctonia, what we call pod rot.